bizarre story out of Kansas City remains a mystery tonight. Three men found dead outside of a friend's home after they'd all gone over to watch the Chiefs game with them last Sunday. Three days after three bodies were found on the back porch and backyard of a Northland home, tonight we're hearing from a mother furious with a lack of answers. Which brings me to Kansas City. It's a place where I don't usually think that kind of thing can happen, but, you know, never say never. Because police there say three friends, die-hard Kansas City Chiefs fans, got together at their buddy's house two Sundays ago to watch the Chiefs take on the Las Vegas Raiders. And that was the last anyone heard from them. The living friend, whose home they had gone to, never contacted the police, claiming the three men identified as 38-year-old Ricky Johnson, 37-year-old David Harrington, and 36-year-old Clayton McGinney, froze to death outside of his home. Friends and family just kept calling and searching for these guys until one family member decided, hey, let's go check back at the house where they watched the game. And wouldn't you know it, they found all three men dead, frozen on the back porch and in the backyard. Weird, I know, but here's where it gets even weirder. The buddy who was hosting the football night, uh, he did not have much to say except they froze to death. Again, uh, there is a scene from The Shining in his backyard. They froze to death. Now some family and friends are not buying the explanation that, you know, three guys just freeze to death outside someone's home when they went to watch a football game. David Harrington's mother, Jennifer Marquez, recently spoke to our Kansas City affiliate to air her frustrations. Everybody's furious. Nobody believes this story. None of his friends, none of the families, none of us believe it. Only the police. Only the police are saying that there's no foul play. Only the police who contacted me today are saying that the story that is saying is makes sense autopsy results are currently pending but as of now the police are saying no signs of foul play and they're not treating this as a homicide investigation that seems curious right they just died they just froze i'm sure we're going to get more information once the autopsies come out but i mean i'm, I'm even trying to think about how this could happen, right? They go to the game, they watch the game, they go outside, they can't get back into the house, but what, none of them had cell phones? I mean, I, I just don't understand it.